Hi and welcome to another 5 minutes tutorial from Blender Insight and this time how you visualize math in a waveform or in a diagram because if you are like me it can be really hard to understand math if you can't see it. So I will show you a method that easily explain what type of math you have done. So we start with adding a texture corner so shift A then you go to the input and select the texture coordinate. And here we can add a scale. So shift A, go to converter, vector math, and change the vector math to scale. And put that to the UV. And then we need a separate XYZ. So shift A, converter, separate XYZ. And I would like this to be duplicated so shift D and then I duplicate it so I have two and the thing now that I have duplicated is because I would like the top one to be all the math that should be visualized and the bottom one is more to feed this out to to our plane here so to com uh, combine these two we use a compare so shift A Converter math and we change this into a compare here that we put X here and a Y here and Epsilon to a really small number like 0 0.010 or something like that and take that to the surface and Now you directly see one line here that explains for me that okay We have a range that goes from 0 here to 1 in this right corner and if I increase the scale here to like 3, uh, not so much happens right now. And that is because the only thing that happens is that it goes from 0 to 3. But normally we would like to break it down into a smaller part using like fraction or something like that. So if I add a fraction here, I can duplicate this one, Shift D, put it here and change it into fraction. So let's see if we can find that. There we have it. Then you suddenly can see that it moves. This is from 0 to 3. And now you can see it moves from 0 to 1. Then it stops moving here and starts in the 0 again to 1 and 0 to 1 and so on. So suddenly it's re really easy to see how this works. And normally what I like to do with this is often that I try to make an, um, that starts like in the center and then you get positive in both directions when you're working with the UV because we don't want the uh, zero point to be here but we want it to be here. How does that look visualized? Well then we can just add those that I think you've seen before the subtract and the multiply after this one so I duplicate this shift D and then I select a subtract of 0.5 and this of 0.5 and now it went down so to control it a little bit we can add an add here uh, so let me put it before the separate so take this fraction duplicate it and make an add out of it because then we can move this in the y direction so we move it up here and then we can see now that with the negative one we get some sp some space here but with the negative of 0 0.5 we get it exactly to be on the edge here and that means that this subtract here goes from a negative 0 0.5 to a positive 0 0.5 so then we multiply this with 2 shift D multiply by 2 like this can take the two first one like two and then you see it goes up here and if I now change this to to uh, negative one you can see it's still in the bottom here if I take 0 0.11 you loses the part in the bottom so now we can see it really is exactly between negative one and a positive one and if I would like to put in an absolute here then I just put in an absolute and now we see what happens here. Now it goes from 
a positive one to uh, now it goes from a zero in the middle here to a positive one and a negative one. So if I put zero here, you can see this is then a zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, and so on. And you can do whatever math you would like to do here. So if I would like, let's say, I would like to do a sine curve, then I just put in sine here and jump all of these things here and just connect the sign here and we get this wave here and as you know a sign goes from a positive to a negative one so i then take this up to a negative one and i can increase the scale and you can see now that we get the sine wave here so with this simple math here where we have like a scale to make this smaller or bigger and we then add a separate and a separate where we use the y axis to drive this forward and the x axis to present the pattern. I, feel, I know that it's a little bit uh, reversed because you, you think that x should be like in this direction, but it's not. And not when you do it like this. Just think that if you put y here, it will be okay. If you put x here, it will be okay. So here you can then add whatever math you would like to do, and it's easy to see how it works. So if I would like to add this as a ping pong instead, then I can just change this into ping pong, and we have to do that by a separate. So we do it after this one. So I take this directly from scale, and we change this to ping pong here, like this. And you can see how a ping pong works. So you see it gets this triangular shape that it works from 0 0.5. Uh, so it's in this case, if we put this to zero, it goes from zero to 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, and so on. So everything you add as a math here will then be visible curves, and then you might easily or more easily understand how all these things work. So uh, hopefully you learned something today as well and I say bye for now and see you later.